what is Senator Edward Markey talking about? I mean, seriously, like, what is he talking about? In terms of the weaponization of space, weaponizing space, Trump's initiative to create a new space command, rather upgraded U.S. space command. For those who don't know, for those who are just tuning in, we have a U.S. space command. It is U.S. space calm for short. It was upgraded just recently when our president, POTUS, president of the United States, Donald Trump, signed the order to upgrade the space command to encompass more activities than currently, uh, or rather previously. Because the Space Command only had certain duties, and now they have more duties, including defending space in new ways, using new modern technologies. So, Edward Markey, I want to make sure that um, I'm quoting this correctly. It says uh, here in this article, Fox News, uh, last updated five days ago, published six days ago, This is by Mr. Andrew O'Reilly. The title of the article is Trump announces new missile defense plan with focus on sensors in space. And then as one scrolls down toward the bottom of the article, it says here, Senator Edward Markey, D as in Delta, Mass, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, uh, a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, immediately raised concerns, calling the plan a bad Star Wars sequel. Goes on, while it is true that the missile threat environment now, uh, I'm sorry, while it is true that the missile threat environment America now faces is different, the answer is not to build a wall in space, Markey said, adding that Trump's misguided rush to weaponize space would be as ineffective <clears throat> would be as ineffective, costly, and dangerous as it was more than three decades ago when it, w- when it was soundly rejected. So from this article and from what I see and what I can read into and understand here, this man, Senator Edward Markey, is making a, a reference, a direct reference to, well, both direct and indirect uh, to Ronald Reagan and the uh, SDI uh, plan, which was the Star Wars uh, plan. And if you Google it, if you look up SDI Star Wars, it is very clear that the um, SDI Star Wars uh, plan that the uh, Reagan administration had uh, initiated Uh, It says right here in Wikipedia, strategic defense initiative was a proposed missile defense system intended to protect the United States from attack by ballistic strategic nuclear weapons. The concept was first announced publicly by Ronald Reagan on 23 March 1983. By the way, this is a mobile podcast. So when you expand that and it says that it was formed in 1984, so 6 to 90 and then 10 to 2000. So that's 16 years plus to now. So we're in... 19, that's almost 20 years. So over 30 years ago is what we're talking about. And it says that the, uh, that, uh, Reagan on 23 March, 1983, Reagan was a vocal critic of the doctrine of mutual assured destruction, MAD, which he described as a suicide pact. Pact, and he called upon the, uh, the scientists and engineers of the United States to develop a system that would render nuclear weapons obsolete. Hey, that sounds like a great plan to me. In fact, it sounds magnificent. Uh, nonetheless, it says that it was, uh, formed in 1984 in terms of the agency overview. Again, this is from Wikipedia and it was dissolved in 1993 as it was renamed the superseding agency, ballistic missile defense organization, um, missile defense agency jurisdiction, obviously federal government of the United States. And uh, the very first paragraph, the Strategic Defense Initiative Organization, SDIO, was set up in 1984 within the United States Department of Defense to oversee development. A wide array of advanced weapon concepts, including lasers, particle beam weapons, and ground and space-based missile systems were studied, along with various sensor, command, and control, and high-performance computer systems that would be needed to control a system consisting of hundreds of combat centers and satellites spanning the entire globe. A number of these concepts were tested through the late 1980s and follow-on efforts and spin-offs continue to this day. 
So what I haven't read, but that I will explain to the audience, is that the uh, SDI program, it, uh, it came under mass scrutiny, uh, and it was uh, basically said to have been scrapped. That was, that was what we were told, was that it was basically scrapped because it was largely as the information went on to uh, purport ineffective. Well, here's the deeper reality of that. That's because the technology didn't, at least in mainstream society, the technology didn't exist back then to make the program a reality in terms of its, uh, you know, soon to be effectiveness, because we have the technology now to make that a reality in today, day, in time, in era, now, okay? So we have the ability and the capabilities to create that type of platform now, today. So when Senator Edward Markey goes on to say that Trump shouldn't be building this wall in space. It's not a fucking wall in space, dude. Okay. So that reference to the steel barrier, whatever, whatever materials, meta materials in terms of the Southern border of the United States, it's not the same thing, dude. It's not, it's not even fucking close to what you're talking about. Okay. It's not a border wall. We're talking about sensors that are space-based and ground-based. And why would you not want that kind of platform to exist, especially when contrary to Mr. Senator uh, Edward Markey's remarks, um, we actually have those technologies, dude. So, so that's the topic of the 139th episode of this here podcast, casting 495 celebrities worldwide. Thank you for tuning in. By the way, I am your host, OSGOE, the rap artist known as Once or Grove, aka Grovey D, aka Big Grove Dog. So, um, you know, I have a little background in defense and science and mathematics, and I'm looking at Edward Markey's comments, and they're fucking absolutely asinine, totally fucking preposterous, because what he is saying is his opinion, and it doesn't really sound like he's too keyed into or clued into our defense capabilities as, as a country. I, I really don't think that this man truly understands what capabilities we actually truly indeed have because we already have those technologies. The, 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 the technologies that he is essentially saying are just going to be a fucking waste of time to try to build. Well, I guess he isn't clued in on the level or keyed in on the level high enough to understand that essentially we already have those technologies and we're just lied to in mainstream society. Um, and we're told that those types of technologies are theoretical and that it's possible maybe that they could be built, but we already have that kind of shit, man. So he doesn't know that I know that it exists and there's clearly evidence that it does. And it's been around for some time and, uh, some of it's declassified, but a lot of it is still largely, totally, absolutely fucking classified at the above top secret levels. And um, so, so, so I, I, I read from these politicians and hear from these politicians who say this kind of mindless shit quite regularly. It's, it's, always, it's always this notion that, oh, Trump has an idea. Fuck his idea. It's like, dude, his idea totally makes sense, man. Like, it should be easy for you to understand that the reason why the uh, program back during the Reagan era supposedly didn't work. You can read about feasibility studies that have been conducted. You can read about ongoing research, past research, and you can see where we, America, have looked at ways to render nuclear weapons obsolete. There are different types of particle beam weapons that it is known are able to penetrate granite rock underground, subterranean levels beneath the earth, and to sense and detect nuclear weapons and render them ineffective and obsolete. So 
Why is this senator and why are these political pundits and why are these so-called analysts apparently, evidently, totally oblivious to the fact that this shit is not far-fetched? It is not outlandish. It is not outrageous. It is not beyond the scope of reason or sensibility. Are these people that fucking un, 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 unknowing and unscrupulous and, and just unaware? Do, do, do they just not fucking understand that the, the drivel that comes out of their mouths when they talk in circles and they try to bash the president on an ongoing continual basis every single fucking day, every time he has a solid idea, a good idea? Donald Trump is merely uh, reiterating what scientists have said. Okay, and and I'm not saying in a bad way. I'm saying that he's doing a fantastic job at bringing these issues to the fore and raising awareness about them. Why wouldn't you want your president talking about shooting down ICBMs and setting up some type of missile shield that actually fucking works? I submit to you, the American public and our allies and friends from around the world. I, I submit to the world that we have technologies in place already in play at work that if they were to be connected in such a way strung together through applied science in such a way that this missile shield that trump is suggesting we create can be created right now at this very fucking moment so when these people these so-called analysts man they talk in these circles they always want to make shit sound like it's so far off oh no this thing that he's talking about is just so just out of, it's just so left field it's just so crazy he's just so out there with these ideas he's not out there with these ideas he's not in any way shape or form out there so to speak with these ideas he's actually on point he's totally on par why are we paying these people like senator edward markey why are we paying him to provide the American public, present to the American public disinformation, misinformation. If somebody doesn't know what I know, then they're led to believe by way of Senator Markey that Donald Trump is just out of his fucking mind. Oh yeah, this missile shield, it's not even possible. And it's just fucking, it's not even worth us trying to do this thing. And it's like, what is he trying to do? Build a wall in fucking space? Dude, Senator Markey, you sound stupid, man. You just really fucking do. How, how, how are you a senator and you are you, you just you're, you don't have access to, to the same information that the rest of the world has access to on the Internet? Like you don't you just don't know that, that these technologies are totally fucking feasible. They're totally, absolutely possible. They're not so far out left field at all. They're not even left field that they're for real. Like they're right in front of your face, like hidden in plain sight. Like you don't go to DARPA dot mill and you don't read. Do you ever go to military installations, bases, U.S. Air Force bases? Do you ever see technology that's being built in conjunct with uh, from like companies like Boeing and Lockheed and Raytheon and Northrop Grumman, uh, BAE Systems? And I could keep going on and on. Like you don't know about these types of rocketry programs, telemetry programs, DARPA programs, IARPA programs, DOD, Pentagon fucking military programs so you think it's preposterous you think that it's inane and asinine and totally ludicrous that donald trump wants to fucking shoot down icbms with lasers we have motherfucking goddamn military lasers we have high energy lethal lasers h-e-l high energy lethal laser lasers so since we have that technology since our government absolutely has that technology why are you opposed to putting it to work Oh, when Trump says, yes, this is what we have to do. We have to put this to work. You're like, no, this guy is, he's clueless. Trump is clueless. Like he's out of his mind. He's like stupid so that it can make the news that that's your assessment. That's your analysis. Your analysis is a poor analysis and it's a stupid analysis. And it's absolutely, it's, it's, it's absolutely unbecoming of a Senator. And what you said is incorrect. It's your view, but it's not based on anything that's in reality and in the real world. And you're absolutely wrong. You're 100% wrong. And we're paying you to what? Be wrong? Like in, in, in media and, and to purport that this is a stupid idea that Trump has and that we don't need this type of system in space? Well, then, then what do you want, man, in space? What do you want to spend money on? You want to spend money on more programs for government to like, I don't know, do what, man? You, you, you're not interested in, in, in the space you know, threat or the space theater or what's going on in space and with our enemies around the world. You're not interested in trying to, to, to neutralize those threats. 
You're not trying to nullify those threats. You're not trying to mitigate those threats with the technologies that we already have. Because that's what I'm hearing from you, man, is that you're not interested. You're 100% disinterested. And all you're interested in is just having your job in government. And we're paying you um, to present nonsense to the American people. 